So just as with the uh, wolf fights last week, uh, we are working on uh, refinements and polishing up the, the elk hunting, specifically the, the big showdown when an elk has uh, run low on energy and it decides it's uh, not going to be able to outrun you anymore and so it's time to fight. So here we have my mate and I I'm trying to finish off this elk. There are a couple glitchy things now with the way the wolf falls off the elk that Tommy uh, has to fix. And these damage effects, the flashing particles, are just placeholders to give us feedback about when the attacks are working or not. We've got some ideas for what will look better with that. So a couple months ago, I had the bright idea to add one more element to this big showdown with the elk and um, have it collapse to its knees when you uh, are biting it with the last of its energy. So cool idea, but it does add some complications. As we can see one of those right there with the mate. As it goes down, the mate's uh, body goes underground because the thing that it's biting is now gone underground. So again, as with the uh, wolf fighting last week, we are doing a number of things to try to improve these, these uh, quirky visual issues. Functionally, it works just fine, but visually it doesn't look so good. And you can see there the way that the, the wolf reacts when it's going down. Well, there's just some real problems there. Um, it looks like it's chewing on me, not me chewing on it. What is going on there? So we can take a closer look at it and see exactly how it's working with the with the bite points. The way it's coming down, um, my wolf is just sort of caught between a, an elk and a hard place and doesn't really have the space to react and move around the way it needs to do to look naturalistic. And so it just looks weird because it's actually the, the force of the elk pushing it down is breaking the... Um, the attachment of the wolf's mouth to the elk and it pushes it to the side. So we need to figure out what's going on with that and how to fix it. So if we look at, here's our debug panel. So this shows all the stuff that the, the wolf is doing right now. We can see that it's targeted the elk and it's biting onto the, um, the left neck, left side of the neck bite point and in the prone position. And that means that it should play this animation here, the attacker crouch attack loop is the name of the animation that it should be playing here. Um, and I think it is, but something's not working right. Something's, something's looking goofy here. So that's something that needs some work. So we've got some bite point issues around the neck when the elk goes down. Let me release and give him a break there. Um, we have some bite point issues on the, on the rear legs because if we bite those, right, that looks weird as well as being um, unattractive. Oh yeah, that hurts. I have set my wolf so it cannot die because um, dying is no fun when you're trying to test some stuff like this. So this elk has really gone on a little rampage here. Understandably, we're trying to kill it. Um, let's see, we have some bite points on the side as well. I can target those. Yeah, so there's another weird thing. So that's this is the bite point there. Yeah, it's it's actually that's strangely low. It should be obviously the bite point. This little gizmo here should be um, attached to the body, not pushed down that low. And that might just be because there's not a good bone for it to attach to there. So this whole laying down the prone for the, the collapsing elk has caused a lot of problems that we weren't really <laughs> anticipating when we came over that idea. So this is the bite point. I've still got it selected, the one that we were just looking at. And you can see it's actually much higher here than um, it appeared in the game. It's up, I was trying to place it on the shoulder. And I suspect that's because the bone that it's attached to is still the bone. See, when you're, when you're chasing the elk and it's on its feet or it's standing on its feet, the bite point is down here, kind of in the, the armpit, because that's where the wolf can get a good bite on it. But once it goes down, that part is too close to the ground, so we need to move the, the bite point, let's see, on the left, move it up some, but then that means that the bone it's attached to has to change. So right now it's attached to that bone there. If we go up one, and that's a little far, but it still is probably the best bet. But I think that's why it looks so far away, is because it was really um, getting some distance from from it. And so in fact, to make that work better, maybe we should actually switch this around so it's more like it's attacking the, the front of its shoulder. You know, we could try that. That might be, there we go. So the blue is which way the mouth is pointing. Um, the wolf aligns its mouth with 
this, this gizmo with it pointing along the blue axis. So we'll try that. I won't change the other one because I want to see how this works. So that was one problem. Another problem was with the back legs. That, once the elk collapses down to the ground, that's too low. Um, so let's move it up. Also have it kind of attacking the, the flank here. So we're going to rotate this so it's more like biting it from the side there. And again, we're going to want to change the bone that that's attached to. Right now, that's attached to this bone here, which is obviously good for the original point, but bad for this. So there's the next one up. There's the next one up. That's a pretty good match. It's a little far in the body, but it's probably the best uh, one. So which one was that? That was this, right? Yeah. Okay, so there's two changes. We also had some problems with the neck when it went down. So let's see, uh, neck. That's the one that was, oh, that's the other side. We'll try it, we'll stick on the right side for now. I mean, the elk's left side, which is there. So you can see this is just goofed up because the, the blue air was pointing down. And so that's why the wolf's face was turned kind of parallel to the neck because that was just wrong just somehow got set wrong it should be pointing into the neck although you did since you noticed the neck was more horizontal a little bit more like that might be good um and maybe pointing into the neck a little bit more um now the head's going up and down so we can't get too close up here or those things are going to collide in a in an ugly way let's go back at it it's already uh making an effort there so i really want to really just want to get it to to collapse all right, coming down. There we go. Now, as so you can see, it's biting the, the back of the hip, and that actually looks a lot better. It's pushing the IK there. It's really pushing it, but the four legs on the ground like that, that's still, it's still holding together. It's not breaking. There, okay, there we go. Biting the, the front leg. Oh, that's working much better. It really should move its feet more as it's holding on because it's getting pushed around by the elk and its feet just slide on the ground. So that's an animation tweak we should make. So it's kind of always trying to kind of hold its ground against the elk. So those are um, already good improvements. Let's try the neck a little bit more here. Can we get the neck? Okay, that's that was weird. The legs are a little stiff there. That's trick. That's going to be a tricky one because. Sometimes they want the legs to move, and sometimes they're just reaching out trying to get to the ground. Oh, we killed it. Look at that. All right. I guess it works then. Oh, I'm full. After all that? Oh, because I turned off my, my health um, so I wouldn't die. So still more work to do, but um, that was just a little snippet of what we do all day as we're trying to get all these elements working together, trying to make things fun, make things realistic, and make things work without glitches.